You know what it is, my ASVAB party people. Coach Anderson here, and you know we need to be able to tackle these challenging questions. Knowing proportions, great, but do you know how to handle proportions when you have triple ratios right over here? So let's go ahead and get to it, everybody. And if at the end, if I helped you out, you know what to do. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a follow, and we keep on having this ASVAB party. So here we go. How many green items are in the container? Remember, first thing we want to do is not exhaust ourselves and make ourselves anxious with the information. No, go straight to the goal. Like, what am I here for? What am I trying to do? And then we'll see what we have to work with to get it done. How many green items are in the container? So right there, how many green items in the container? Sounds good. I'm going to write that out. I'm going to say blank green in the container. All right, sweet. Sounds good. Now let's go ahead and read the information that's given to us. That way we can appropriately sort through everything. So there are three types of items in a container. We have blue, green, and red. Okay, immediately I see that we're making a comparison here because we see that we have blue, green, red. How many green? And I already noticed this triple ratio. So you can absolutely say, hey, let's write blue, green, and red. Okay, this is standard for any proportion question. You know, you really want to make sure that you can compare the same things in the same way. That's the main idea if you didn't know. Write that down. Again, we want to compare the same things in the same way. And I'll show you exactly an example of that in this question here. So blue, green, red. The container has a total of 154 items. Oh, look at that. We see here, we want to know how many green items in the container. And then I see... The container has a total of 154 items. So I'm going to write that down. We are looking for the number of green in the container, but we have 154 total, again, in the container. So we see that these two pieces of information are connected. Green is what we're looking for in the container, and we have 154 total in the container. This is going to be super important because we want to set up our proportion based on the question and the information connected to the question. So let's read over here and I'll show you how easy this can actually be. So the ratio of blue to green to red is two to three to six. Okay, blue to green to red. So same order, two, three, six. So that's what I'll write down. Two, three, six. So this is where most people get stuck. So pay very, very close attention. Most people get stuck right here because they say, hey, I got two, three, and six. I'm looking for the number of green. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and set up a proportion here. And I'm going to write, you know, G for green, um, some, some fraction. And then I see green over here, three. So I'll match it up. Yeah, compare the same things, coach. But then what do you do down here? Most people freak out and they think that they got to put a two or the six. When in reality... Remember that if you just compare the same things in the same way, things become very easy. Here's what I mean. What I mean by that is, hey, we have 154 total, so I'm going to write that down right here. So if the attempt is to compare the same thing in the same way, we have green up top, total on bottom. On the right side, we began with green right there. So that's good. The tops, hey, we're comparing the same things. But the bottom, what do we need down here? What we need, my party people, is the total because we're trying to compare the same things in the same way. I know I sound like a broken record, but that is the purpose here. So with that, how do we get the total? Super easy. If we have two blue, three green, and six red, we can absolutely write the total. The total between all of these, two plus three is five, plus six, that's going to be what? That's going to be 11. And there we go. We have 11 total right there. We're good to go. We can solve this nice and easy. So here we go. Cross, multiply, and divide if we'd like to, or if you notice a comparison that you can make, do your thing. But G times 11, that's going to be 11G. 154 multiplied by 3, that's going to end up being 462, something like that. What's the mental math? And from there, what we are going to do is just going to be divide and solve. So there we are. Divide both sides by 11. Once we do that, boom, gone. Let's do some quick long division. 11 into 462. 11 into 46, that's 4. 
Then we have two left, drop that two, 11 in the 22, that's two. And that's it, super quick. The number of green uh, marbles in this container or items is going to be 42. As long as you compare the same things in the same way, that's how we get it done, everybody. So don't forget our Easter holiday sale. It ends, well, today. So make sure to take advantage of it. Join our free class if you wanna see how I teach. Again, my name is Coach Anderson. Check the link in the description of this video or on my bio. That way you can raise your score, get the job you want, and save a huge amount of money. That way, everything is as stress-free as possible. I've got your back every step of the way, my party people. If you have any questions, feel free to text me directly. Here's my number. Cheers.